Hi everybody. Today is June 19th, 2018. Tomorrow is June 20th. And what most of you know in that have met me in person or most people who have had readings with me um, or if you've ever read my website, <laughs> um, 12 years ago tomorrow, I lost my son. My son, Eben Rain, was born and died on June 20th, 2006, from complications and with a diagnosis of trisomy 18. It sent me into a decade-long depression. Um, that involved a lot of hard work, a diagnosis of PTSD, and uh, a level of deep cellular mourning that I wouldn't wish on anybody. Tomorrow's my day to grieve. Tomorrow is my day off. I will be memorializing the 45 minutes that my son was alive with my husband and then I will be going to the beach with my girlfriend to connect to the earth, to the mother, to the water, to cleanse, to just be, to be unplugged, to just be with my body, and be with the goddess, and be with the God. And so this evening while I was doing my readings, I decided to pull cards for myself and for my son to see what the day would be like tomorrow. I've already pulled the cards in order to save time. The first card that I flipped was the Page of Pentacles, which made me smile because it just feels to me like him. And then the second card I flipped was the Ten of Pentacles, which it's interesting. For me in tarot, I typically talk to people about the fact that, you know, we, we have these cards that we think are positive and these cards that we think are negative. And so when we pull over a card like the Devil card or the Tower card, we instantly get like a boom, boom, boom kind of feel to it. And it feels like, oh no, something's going to go wrong. Because the card typically is denoted in a negative connotation. And a card like the Ten of Pentacles is typically a positive connotation. It, it has a feeling of completion, transcendent, like transcendent completion, body, mind, spirit, with the earth career, love, money, pr practical, tactical, touchable things, feeling complete. It's, it's a union card. So then I had to ask myself, what intention did I place on the card? Because I'll never be complete. I'll never be happy he's gone. So I remember that the intention was, tell me about my son and myself and how tomorrow will be. So it tells me that tomorrow will just, will be. It will be complete. It will be a day. It will come in. I will cellularly remember and allow my body to be in whatever capacity it wants to be body, mind, and soul. And that when I'm done in this practical world, I'll be able to tie up this birthday with a bow, blow my son some kisses, and continue building this business and this way of connecting with you and all of the other wonderful things that I want to do and accomplish. But tomorrow, tomorrow's my day. My day to be in the earth, 
in the water, in the sun. My toes buried deep with the people that I love who have been here with me and through it for a very long time. Loving me through all of the growth and pain and processing and release. I'm often a very smiley, happy, chipper person, and I am even now. But those of you who I've connected with in a face-to-face -face level, when we talk about death and loss, I believe that one of the things that I bring to the table is that for those of you who have gone through it, when we're talking, when we're connecting, you see it, you feel it, you know that I've been there, you know that I've conquered it, you know that I've experienced it. Again, I wouldn't wish it on the world. But for tomorrow, tomorrow's my day with my son. Tomorrow's my day to be complete. So, blessings to everybody. Kiss your children a little bit longer for me tonight. I'll see you all on Thursday. Good night.